So, on part two. So, our next topic is, would you stay with someone if you felt like they were cheating? Would I feel, um, if I felt, let's, let's say for you, baby, if I felt like you were cheating, or let's just go back to in the past when, when I thought you were, <clears throat> I know for me, with my mindset now, I should have any, when I first got an inkling or felt like, well, maybe what if, what if? I should have came to you. Hell, I'm going to say it. I should have been man enough to come to you, sit you down, and and we talk. You you allow me to say what's on my heart, you know, what's on my mind. Like, and, and to see, you know, to to allow you to hear it, to see if, if, if you're the woman for me to allow me to express my feelings and and whatnot, you know, where it wasn't gonna be a backlash or anything like that. And even if it was gonna be a backlash, that just, that, would, that wouldn't be on me, that would be on you. You know, I yeah. should have come to you and be like, look here, baby, I feel like you might be either talking to someone, seeing someone, or or getting your needs met by some <clears throat> by someone else other than me because I up. <clears throat> yeah <laughs> <laughs> because I'm I'm sitting here I'm laying here and and I know I got needs and and you're always saying you're working you're you're not in the mood this and that and hell it's been two weeks like you know, you, you. I'm highly attracted to you, your mind, body, and, and and soul. Like, for me to sit here and watch you work, and I see your hips, your thighs, your your face, your smile. Like, it. I, I want to jump you every time, but <clears throat> I try to. I call myself respecting you by by okay you you're tired you working a lot okay cool you know i try to respect that but it's it's making me feel like there's someone else so is it tell me what's going on so That's what i should have did right so what would you say to a couple that says oh well, I know he's cheating, so I'm going to cheat. But we ain't, we, we, we cheating, but we not going to have that conversation. We just going to make the assumption. One of them is making the assumption. Well, hell, they're, I don't know. Because you got to ask yourself, okay, how do you know that your significant other is cheating? Do you have absolute positive facts? Not 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 a belief, but facts. Do you, did you see? Did you pick up the phone and take screenshots? Okay, now that if if you have facts like that, not beliefs, not oh, I, I I'm thinking, I think she's doing it. I think he's doing it, or whatever. Because for me, I was thinking that she was so. Basically, it will, it will always be facts over fiction. So if she has facts that he is cheating, stepping out, then look here. Come put your big girl panties on. Go to your dude. Present the facts. And then tell him or acknowledge him. Like, look here. Either we're going to be together, stay together, and, and, and fix this, or understand that, hey, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slide out. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go search. I'm going to go do my thing. Yeah. 
you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised of the honesty if you start being honest with yourself first and then being honest with your partner and letting them know, hey, I know this about you. I know this is what you're going through. I don't like it because you're being secretive and and blase blase. But this is where I draw the line at either we gonna be together as a monogamous couple because I need to know why were you stepping out or why are you stepping out over me? What what needs are what needs do I need to be do I need to what, what, I'm, what needs do you have that I need to meet? that I'm not meeting that you that got you going over to the other to the other woman is is there is there and and I'm be honest ladies it might not be that you're not meeting his needs it might just be he she allows a different aspect of you and he's attracted to it yeah there's a different, there's a different <clears throat> vibe or frequency when you get with the other person and it just puts you on a different level. It makes you feel different. Like y'all just converse differently. Mm -hmm. Cause, um, it, it, yeah, it, it might not be what you think. Yeah. So it, it's not often, uh, knees being melt because. Um, when I tried to, my wife was meeting all that, that I wanted her to meet or whatever, but it was the fact of the attention was not there for me because she was always working and then she was always tired. So, so my, my deal was the attention that I was receiving. Yeah. So. <clears throat> and you, something you said rung rung a, a bell with me because it's like so many people are in monogamous relationships who in their mind there's two things in their mind they're they're oh he's cheating or she's cheating so I'm gonna do it too so you there's many people who are monogamous relationships that are really in polyamorous relationships. And then when, when that subject is brought up, would you ever be? And it's like, but you are. So you can't say, no, I would never. You are, because if you go out and cheat, you have added someone else to your relationship, however you look at it. And and then sometimes it don't even have to be physical. It could be mental. You could be going to work, whether you're a female or a male, you could be going to work. And 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 opening up to, an, uh, let's say the opposite sex at work, uh, work husband, work wife, or whatever. Mentally, you've allowed somebody into your relationship. You might not see it that way, but you have because you're you're allowing hell, men. You know, you you're allowing another woman to look into your relationship possibly give you advice on your relationship to better help your you and your woman or whatever in this that and the and the other you know because hey it's it got started somewhere yeah yeah so there's there's all of that but going back to what when you said you thought you, you thought I was cheating. People really, in their mind, when you think someone's cheating, they may not be cheating, but in your mind, you're, you're convinced that they're cheating. So if you watch our previous videos, one of the videos, my husband said he, in his mind, he heard me having sex with somebody. He said I was downstairs getting it in. She was getting her back blown out. And, and I'm like... 
But it for was, me, I'm like, you really think I would be that ballsy to have sex in the house? With, our bedroom was literally upstairs. Like, it was literally, like, the whole upstairs, almost, one side of it. So it's like, you really think that I would do that knowing you could hear anything? That was number one. And number two, I'm like, you really heard something. But the whole time, I'm down there working on my computer. Silent. It's quiet in the house. But and he, was, in his mind, was, heard. It was my imagination because... Playing um, tricks on him. When, when, you're, when you're sitting there and you're it's quiet and you're trying to hear or whatever. You're trying to focus in on, on your hearing or whatever. And you hear do, 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 do. And you constantly, and you're trying not, nah, that, that can't be, that can't be. But you keep hearing do, do, do. And, and it took me to actually sneak downstairs to see, to realize and to analyze that yo, my mind thinking that she's cheating got me to thinking that hearing my heartbeat was her getting her back blown in. Insane. In when he told me that, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> wow. You're yeah. hearing your own heartbeat. But your because mind is quiet. Your mind is your mind is connecting all kind of crazy thoughts. Insane. So when you're sitting here and like, oh, he cheating, she cheating, your reality may be so misconstrued. Like you really like prime example. Oh, I the neighbor might be like, oh, I saw your wife come home. Or they may say something, right? Whole time, her car broke down. She had to go to the shop, drop the car off at the shop, whatever the case may be, and caught an Uber home. But in your mind, another man then dropped her off because she was off doing whatever with whoever. To the point where she has to show you, no, I legit ordered an Uber and came home. Here's the times. No, you were you were cheating. So with that being said, don't just allow outside information to dictate your relationship. Either wait till you have cold hard truth or ask for the cold hard truth. The best thing to do is ask. Talk about it. Ain't yeah. no way for me. I don't. I for me as a woman, because most women are this way. If they think their man is cheating, we act in some type of way. We feel some type of way. We stock in your TikTok. We stock in your Facebook. We who's heart in this? Who are you responding to? Who is repetitively commenting on your stuff? We looking at everything. Anytime I suspected any female, I was on it. Who is mm -hmm. Nicole? Who is this? Who is that? I was on it. She always commenting, and every time I comment, she she ain't nowhere on the post. I a female gonna be on it. Men though, for whatever reason, will just make the assumption, but won't go to that degree. But then you'll, for me, I'm like I'm not. I value myself too much as of right now. I value myself too much to stay with someone who is going to disrespect me. Now, where we're at right now is we golden. We are gold. Like, I love it. And it's not even that we have got our feet wet. So to no, you got your feet wet per se. Oh, I didn't get nothing wet. Like, no, no, you didn't. You didn't. <laughs> Um, but we, where we're at, we're not actively, I don't have a boyfriend. He don't have a girlfriend. He don't have a fiance. I don't have a fiance. We're not there. But even when we get there, or even the fact that we have the opportunity to get there, it feels good knowing that, hey, so-and-so said this to me, or 
I seen so-and-so say that to you, you know, like, and we can talk about it and it not be this, this stress, like thinking that he was cheating on me or feeling like he was cheating on me to the degree I was all over the internet, 280 something screenshots from all platforms of things he was saying, things he was doing or whatever. He didn't put me in a group and my nosy ass and went all the way back, searched his name to anything he was commenting on or posted to see him and some female tagging each other, tag someone if you think they're cute or, or tag someone you want to get down with. I done went all the way back and had an issue about it. Like, and he here he go, put me in the group thinking it's, it's a safe zone. You good? No. I'm coming for that. I'm coming for you. So my insecurity would not let me just be okay. But now, look, hey, have fun. Hell, let lend, lend, lend your thoughts marinate that he or she is stepping out on you is creating stress. Stress and is creating insecurity. Yeah. Before you get to lend your thoughts create insecurity in your in your mind acknowledge it to the other person like look here before it goes any any anywhere or whatever look here this is what i'm thinking this is how i see it here it is help me to help you because right now i'm i'm about to head on that train to, to Insecureville and, and all this stuff, you know, and, and I need to know exactly where I stand with you. Right. And this is vice versa, like, because, and, yeah, just just thinking about it or whatever, it and to where I know I've come from, I could easily pinpoint things of of where how it started all from you know growing up and and you hear what you hear you learn what you learn not knowing any better Mm -hmm. but now that you say hey you know what i'm gonna be control of my life you start to read books and help help self-help books and you starting to take in accountability of your 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 thoughts, your actions of you. You start learning who you are. You get to a point where you realize that what you learned come growing up or whatever is basically people around you, even your parents, not being accountable for their own actions and what they're doing. Their own insecurities that you're seeing as a child and being it's being inputted in you. So when you grow up, you're doing the exact same thing. The cycle continues. The cycle continues because it's almost like a programming. Like it is, it is. Uh, the one thing that I took from my childhood is a man who's cheating will be, will accuse you of cheating. That's what I got from my childhood. So, Mm -hmm. as an adult, and and, and I got, I was told multiple times, hell, I was even told when I first got with, with with my baby, that women that look that good, you ain't the only one. Pretty, pretty ass women got somebody else. And if they don't get somebody else, they they know who's next after you. That's what I was told. That's crazy. So we're gonna wrap this up, guys. In the next video, we're gonna we're checking in. We going we gonna talk about what we're doing, where we've been, where we're at mentally, because I don't think we've done that in a while. So where are we at? What do our friends and family think about? the lifestyle that we're living. And so we're we going to put it all out there. Uh, uh, we'll, 
a brief update. It's been about a year of solid living this lifestyle. So we going to reflect on what we've learned so far, where oh, we're at. Yeah. And moving forward. What? Oh, y'all. I didn't. Man. I'm letting my beard grow grow back in. This side higher than this side. Man. You probably ain't sitting straight. Is your head straight? Don't even if I cock my head like that, it's still. <laughs> you look fine, baby. Stop it. Look fine to me. You look sexy as hell. So catch us in the next one, guys. Uh, yeah, we sure. We're we going to update y'all. Yeah. And so, don't worry. I'm going to be wearing the same clothes because this is how we do. We put this is what in. we do around here. So be sure to follow us on Facebook under Jupiter's Love. We're on Instagram, Jupiter's Love 8. We are not on, um, uh, what's it called? What is that one? Um, not Pinterest. What? Not oh, Pinterest. What? Um, I know what it is. I just cannot think of it right Patreon. now. Patreon. Patreon. We're not on Patreon yet. We just there's right now. There's no use for it. So catch us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, we are posting now. Or hell, by the time you see this, our posting schedule has already changed. But we're Wednesdays and Sundays. So be sure to like, follow, subscribe. Please comment. And again, thank you to the ones that are watching our videos. We greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. Until next time, do not ground your love. Make it out of this world. All right. And on, the, on that note, we will catch you in the next one. Oh, my neck popped. Whoa.